Iran says it is ready to export domestically built fighter jets after showcasing them to potential buyers during an upcoming air show on Kish Island. Brigadier General Abdaklaram Benidarafi, head of Iran Aviation Industries Organization (IAIO), made the announcement on Monday before the air show's opening ceremony. We have already taken the necessary steps to export products that we are authorized to sell he told reporters, noting that Tehran will resume selling trainer jets as well. Iran unveiled its first domestically designed and manufactured fighter jet named Kosar during a defense show in Tehran in August. The fourth-generation Iranian fighter jet is equipped with advanced avionics and fire control systems and can be used for short aerial support missions. The plane can be manufactured in both single and double cockpit types, the latter of which can be used for advanced pilot training missions, in addition to its combat capability, according to FARS news agency. Benidorafi said Iran had already reached export agreements with China, Russia and Indonesia. U.S. becoming more miserable Iran's defense minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami said at the Kish Air Show's opening ceremony that Iran was steaming ahead and making advancements in all fields despite harsh economic sanctions by the U.S., which he said is becoming more miserable by the day. Forty years ago, the Iranian nation purged America as the symbol of imperialism, and it will proudly celebrate the 40th anniversary of its independence three months from now he said. Iran's Army Air Force begins annual military maneuvers in Isfahan. The Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIF, has launched two days of military exercises involving bombers, drones and missiles, with the aim of testing its capabilities in protecting the country's airspace against possible enemy threats. The eighth edition of the annual drills, dubbed Defenders of Belayat Skies, began at Shahid Babi Air Base in the central province of Isfahan on Thursday, following days of preparations. The maneuvers will put to test dozens of bombers, hunter and interceptor jets, as well as transport, refueling, reconnaissance and patrolling aircraft, besides unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. The war games would feature Sukhoi Su-24, F-4 and F-7 Phantoms, MiG-29 F-14 jets, being 707 and 7047 aerial refueling planes, and C-130 Hercules transport aircraft, along with drones equipped with precision strike missiles and long-range smart bombs. Domestically manufactured rockets and bombs as well as laser-guided anti-radar and thermal missiles will be put to test during the exercises. The drill's spokesman, 2nd Brigadier General Alariza Anjizat, said in addition to Shahid Babi, other air bases across the country would contribute to the maneuvers. In the course of the drills, Iranian air forces will practice air-to-air -air shooting and shooting against aerial targets, as well as using smart, indigenous and upgraded bombs, he added. Over the past years, Iran has made major breakthroughs in its defense sector and attained self-sufficiency in producing military equipment and hardware, despite sanctions and economic pressures on the country. A spokesperson for the war game said the warplanes detonated ground targets of the hypothetical enemy by dropping 2,000-pound cast standoff bombs, which are smart, have pinpoint accuracy, and have been developed by the IRIF experts, Tasnam News Agency reported. The two-day maneuvers are meant to boost the Iranian Air Force's capabilities in defending the country's airspace against any possible aggression. The eighth edition of the annual drills, dubbed Defenders of Belayat Skies, began at Shahid Babi Air Base in Isfahan province on Thursday, following days of preparations. The maneuvers put to test dozens of bombers, hunter and interceptor jets, as well as transport, refueling, reconnaissance and patrolling aircraft, besides unmanned aerial vehicles. The war games featured Sukhoi Su-24, F-4 and F-7 Phantoms, MiG-29, F-14 jets, Boeing 707 and 7047 aerial refueling planes, and C-130 Hercules transport aircraft, along with drones equipped with precision strike missiles and long-range smart bombs. In the course of the drills, Iranian air forces will practice air-to-air -air shooting and shooting against aerial targets, as well as using smart, indigenous and upgraded bombs, he added. 
Over the past years, Iran has made major breakthroughs in its defense sector and attained self-sufficiency in producing military equipment and hardware, despite sanctions and economic pressures on the country.